I got another idea for you guys. Now hear me out for this one. This one might actually sound crazy, but think about it. In Park right now, do we even use the affiliations anymore? Get rid of them junks. We don't use them anymore. They don't they don't matter. You can play with any affiliation. So I feel like that affiliation thing is kind of dead. Like I don't think 2K even really kind of goes with it anymore. It's done, okay? Now hear me out. Everybody starts off on a park like this. You know, that's that's the cage, but it doesn't have to be called that because I know for copyright purposes. Now, I actually pulled real parks for this video just as examples, but obviously because I know 2K can't use them, whatever, they're going to have to be squished up, but I think they should do something like this. All right, so everybody starts off at a park like this, the cage, and then as they revved up, they unlocked more parks. Now, I know some people are probably like, ah, oh, man, I want to be able to go to, you know, all the parks all the time. But if you think about it, when you're an affiliate of a park, you, you can't travel until a certain rank. So what difference would it make if they made it the same way? You unlock one park at a time, so you don't really get to experience all the parks at once. Therefore, it kind of always feels fresh. And at the same time, it feels like you're grinding for something. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but I know I'll never reach legend on 2K ever in my whole entire life. So what's the point of me grinding my rep? You see what I'm saying? Why would I want to do that? Now, if I can get into different parks for being an all-star or a pro or even a superstar, I don't think I've ever been a superstar on 2K before. If I could get there and get different parks, even to the point where you're a legend and that park I'll, t I'll tell you guys about that one later that, that that one's a little crucial I need to know what you guys think about that but I would feel like I'm grinding towards something besides legend because obviously I'm never gonna get to that point you see what I'm saying so it feels as if for each thing that you're you know for each one that you're leveling up you're able to go to different parks and at the same time all the people who are trash at 2k cuz I, I mean we still have some people who are superstars and all-stars who are pretty trash at the game you just need to play for a good amount of time and you'll eventually wrap up but at least for a good portion of the time you'll know that the people who are in your higher level parks are about the same level as you see what I'm saying now that might make the competition on park better I don't know maybe you guys just want to be able to chill on the park you know just relax just play like some casual games but some people actually want to try hard. Like, there's some time where, for me, when I'm playing Park, when I'm playing 2K, I'm not playing to lose. What's the point of playing if I want to lose? I want to actually win games. So I want people who are on the same skill level as me. And that's why I also have this idea, okay? For people who don't pass the ball, things like that. And this, this could get a little bit crucial for those of you guys who actually, you know, just make mistakes in games. But I feel like if you are garbage... If you keep getting F grades, if you keep quitting, if you keep uh, if you keep hogging the ball, if you don't play defense, whatever the case is, they should have a special park for you. For people like you, where all of you guys just sit there and just hold else, okay? And pretty much you have to work your way out of there. It's like probation. You get sent to jail or some junk. You know, and pretty much like GTA, because I know GTA has that. If you start wilding out and just blowing up everybody's cars, you get sent into a server where you know all the people who are on your same category all the trolls you get fried with them i feel like they should have a situation like that 2k i personally i don't know how that would go i know you know some people would be like um some people would be like it'd be unfair you know to people who are learning the game whatever the case is but if you're learning the game what perfect place for you to learn to play the game in some place where people are as bad as you I mean you'll learn to get better now for people who are legends I think you should be able to actually be able to play in an NBA arena I know it'd be hard for them to do multiple courts for you know like one arena but I feel like if you're legend you should be able to play at like Madison Square Garden because I know that's like you know the court that everybody wants to play at you should be able to pull up to that park obviously you know if you're not a legend you can't come in there I know I would never get to that point. So to me, I would never make it there. But I feel like Legends, you know, that would that'd be something lit. And it's like, you know, people on YouTube probably want to get like footage of that. I think that be, could be pretty crucial. I don't know. I think they should definitely get rid of the affiliations and add just parks that you get to unlock. Maybe not unlock it by rep. Maybe there's a different way to do it. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, leave a like. I might actually end up doing a concept to this, 
but I mean on the park I couldn't really get a player to walk around so I really wouldn't be able to do a, a concept of the actual mode but maybe a concept of the menus so let me know what you guys think about that if I get a lot of likes then I know that you guys want to see that I try to do it now I know a lot of you guys are still waiting for me to finish that my career concept that one's coming out tomorrow so make sure you guys leave a like on this video let me know that you guys want to see more videos like that I'll see you guys later. Peace.